Hello everyone, I'm Professor Gray, and I'll be your teacher for this semester. I just wanted to introduce myself to the class and explain the topic of my first lecture, which is folklore. So, what is folklore? Well, folklore is art, literature, knowledge, or practices that are passed down through word of mouth or customary practice, as opposed to written or printed documents. Now, it's important to consider that, in the modern age, folklore can be transmitted through any medium, so this distinction becomes largely meaningless. It's best to think of the term folklore as the lore of the people, or as any knowledge or information that is spread. Now, there are different types of folklore, and one of which is the folk tale. Now, these are stories that are often adapted, ported to other medias, or used as inspiration for movies, music, TV shows, plays, everything. Now, these folk tales often deal with mythological creatures or spirits, such as angels. daydreaming again, aren't you? It's important to pay attention during your lecture. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. So, these folk tales often deal with spirits or mythological creatures such as angels, which brings us to our source material for the day, the song Fallen Angel. Now, what are fallen angels? Well, there are several references to fallen angels in folklore. One is from the Judeo-Christian mythology, and these are the Nephilim, or fallen angels. Now, there's conflicting reports as to exactly what these entities are. Some describe them as cursed beings tempted into sin, and, um, Others describe them as giants who are benevolent protectors. So, are they twisted beings, or are they mighty demigods? Now, there's another reference from Eastern folklore to fallen angels. The Samyiza, or Shamhazai, is another name for fallen angels, and these are said to be sentinels spirits or watchers. Now, all of these references include male angels and female humans. This can be due to the fact that many mythological structures include only male angels. But what if female angels descending from the heavens and taking human lovers? The narrative of the song Fallen Angel was adapted from a real event, which was then fictionalized using some mythological concepts. Now, with this in mind, let's listen to the song. Now, let me just get a few things ready first before we can continue.
Sorry for covering your eyes like that, but when you experience sensory deprivation like this, it enhances your other senses, allowing you to hear the song better. That's it for today's lecture. Your homework for tonight is to nurture your own natural talent and sleep well.